What's up guys? Welcome to Big Market Ventures. Here's how's everybody doing. Today I'm at Hollywood Cemetery, Richmond, Virginia, and today we're just going to walk the grounds. Well, I'm not going to walk the whole grounds because it's a huge, huge cemetery with a lot of hills. But I'm just going to show you some points of interest in this cemetery. Uh, matter of fact, I'm standing right beside one right now, General George E. Pickett of the Confederate soldier. Major General George E. Pickett that served in Gettysburg. So, come follow me and join me on this adventure. And right here are probably some more uh, members of the Pickett family, I guess, or just some some more soldiers and probably their wives that were serving in the Gettysburg War but let me try to find his actual tomb because I was just standing near his monument I think his tomb is over here somewhere Sally Corbell Pickett this is the wife of George Pickett Penn and State name LaSalle born 1843 and died 1931 so His gravestone might be, might be right here underneath this uh, monument. It's a possibility because I don't see a regular headstone over there on the uh, in the corner anywhere. Kind of walk around to this bench. If you can read it, you can pause the video. And we will just move on from here. All right, we're just leaving Confederate Circle right now. I'm gonna drive real, kind of really slow around here. Hopefully, I don't miss any points of interest I can share with you guys. Yeah, this cemetery has been here for a good little while. I think 1835, somewhere around that neighborhood. Well, this is a neat little uh, area right here. John Marshall High School, Cadet War Memorial. That's pretty neat. I'm gonna drive up this hill right here. They told me to follow along the blue line. That's the path we need to stay, because I think most of it's the point of interest famous people and things like that during the war. Let's see. This is the way I came in actually. I think I have to go back out and hit the main road. All right, we're gonna to try to make our way down to the President's Circle. This map I got right here looks kind of confusing. <laughs> but we're gonna make our way over there. I know it's over there, kind of over there by the water and we're gonna drive right along the edge of the water. I like this view right here, going down the hill. It's an awesome view right there. Okay, I think now we're on the right track. I'm on Waterview Avenue. I think my stay along the edge of the cemetery will kind of run into the uh, President's Circle. I like how they got these tombs buried in the uh, hills right here. Right along the James River. I'll get you a better view when I get the car. All 
I'll probably stop at this little mausoleum right here and just kind of look around in there. Alright, we're over here at the mausoleum. I don't think I'm that far from the present circle. I think it's just up that up that way a little bit and on top, on top of the hill. But I just figured I'd stop here and just kind of take a look at the wall right here. I did a video here last year on the channel, so if you want to check that video out on the channel, please do so. Get a few shots inside of here. Pretty nice in here. I'm pretty sure there's I'm pretty sure there's no famous people in here. Is a V of the James River. Turned out to be a nice day out here. The little city of Richmond right over there. Just kind of zoom in a little bit. Well, he's part of the city of Richmond. Yeah, I like to do some more cemetery videos as well, but there's not very many cemeteries around here that, you know, is, it has a lot of points of interest. I mean, there's another one, I think, just down the road, another cemetery here that has a couple of unknowns like Arthur Ashe, Peter Francisco, things like, people like that. I can't remember what the name of the cemetery is, though. But other than that, only other cemetery that I know that's not far, well, almost two hours away is Arlington. That's the, probably the biggest cemetery in the nation. All right, we're going to go and see if we can find the presidents. Thought I'd take a little detour down this road and show you some more of these little tombs that are in the hillside. I thought it looks, I, thought it looks, I think it looks pretty cool. How they got it in there like this. See them? And I think the further down we go, I think we're going to see Jeff Davis. And I think we're I think we're right here, to be honest with you. Yeah, Davis Avenue. Kind of get out and take a look at that. And we're going to kind of walk over here. And this is where Jeff Davis is buried, along with his wife, the president of the Confederacy. Jeff Davis to the left, and his wife, I guess, to the right. Verina Howell Davis. Here are the sons of the Confederate veterans, 200th anniversary of Jeff Davis' birthday, June 3rd, 2008. We 
Virginia Division, Alabama Division. Joe Addison Hayes, born Holly Springs, Mississippi. Died the 26th of January, 1919. All right, I think we passed the President's Circle. I think I got to go back the other way and go up that hill. That's what I thought that we should have done to begin with. If I really wanted to, I could walk it, but I'm just not really in the mood to really walk. <laughs> Got flip flops on. So we're gonna make our way up and see the presidents. All right, just hopped in the car. I just want to kind of show you the map. If you look at the map, and while you're driving at the same time, it almost looks kind of it's confusing, but it's hard to follow the blue circles or the blue lines on the streets. So right now we are up here in this corner because that's where Jefferson Davis is. Davis Circle, number three. So the president's is back down this way. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, the president's circle. So I gotta make a, a detour back down the other way. Or if I I can probably take this road that's up ahead just to kind of cut around. That's what I think I'm going to do. So I'll see you in a little bit when we get there. All right, we found it. The President's Circle. They should have made these roads a little wider. Because I'm parked all caddy sideways and stuff up that road. And there's a, another car right there. I don't know if he's going to try to go down that way. It's, it's just... That's the only down side to the cemetery here is the, the roads are too narrow. But anyway, we're going to walk over here to the, uh, the President's Circle and see James Monroe. And, and John Tyler, he's over here. I know where James Monroe is because he's in that cage. Kind of walk up in here. I think John Tyler's just on the other side. Let's see. I don't know if you can see the plaque. President James Monroe. Born in Westmoreland County the 28th, April 1758. Died in the city of New York on July 4th, 1831. By order of the General Assembly, his remains were removed to the cemetery, to the cemetery the 5th of July, 1858. His remains, I already, already said all that, as an ex evidence of the affection of Virginia for her good and honored son. So, yeah, this is President James Monroe. I forgot what president he was. I forgot. He was probably like one. He was one of the, I guess, one of the founding fathers. I want to say maybe the one of the like the first, maybe the first seven presidents. I don't know. I got the paper. I'll look it up later. And I think this is John Tyler right here, where the two American flags are. Let's see what we got. Yeah, President John Tyler.
1792. You weren't that old either when he when he passed. Or this side might be his wife. Hold on, let me look on right on the other side. I might have read the wrong one. All right, all right, okay. All right, John Tyler right here. John Tyler, President of the United States, 1841 to 1845. Okay, he was born in Charles City County, Virginia on the 29th of March 1790 and died in the city of Richmond in 1862. I guess that's the some family members that are buried here as well. Now there's a tomb around here somewhere that had the has the first burial. The first person that's buried at the cemetery. But I don't know where it's at. I don't think I'm far from it though, but if I see it, I'll stop by. President Circle Drive. Yeah, if I see it, I'll stop by and uh, we'll have a look at it. And then we'll drive on out of the cemetery and we'll wrap up the vlog. All right, I just wanted to read a few facts on, on these presidents. James Monroe, 1758-1831, was a governor of Virginia and the fifth president of the United States. Monroe is most noted for the Monroe Doctrine, which perverted, prevented further European intervention in the Americans. In the mid-1800s, Virginia Governor Henry Wise, who... Hope to have all of Virginia's presidents be buried at the cemetery was successful in having Monroe's, Monroe's remains reinterred at Hollywood. And here's John Tyler's. And Jefferson Davis. 1808 to 1889. And like I said, you can feel free to pause the video. Here's the, the Hollywood Pyramid. We passed that towards the beginning. I, I didn't show it on the video, but like I said, it's on my it's on the channel. It's on the last video that I did last year, so you can check that one out. So we're gonna go down and check out the first burial. And I'll see you down there. So we'll just walk around this little circle right here. And I think the first burial was at the bottom of this little road right here. My God, it's a gorgeous day out here. I wish I could find some like famous actors that passed away. I know there's a channel called Hollywood Graveyard that, that does it. It goes around the country and around the world. It does that. It's pretty neat. You know, go check that out too if you're into that stuff. But you know, every once in a while I like to roam around through a graveyard and Go video log for you. I want to say the first burial is that tombstone right there. I think it's that one right there, that one in the center. I think. <laughs> Walk up here and check it out. I think it is. Leroy, Leroy M. Lee. No, that can't be the first burial.
Oh, here it is. His first burial in Hollywood Cemetery. Frederick William Emmerich, born. Eighteen forty eight to eighteen forty nine, I think. I think it was a baby. Oh, it's kind of hard to tell the dates. Either eighteen forty to eighteen forty nine, or it's in the same year. Huh. I think all in this little area, probably residing family members. Very historical cemetery. So I guess we'll just walk around back to the car. Maybe cut through this little pathway right here. Take the long way back again. Yeah, there's a couple of, there's a few, um, other notable, notice, notables that yeah, I forgot to mention on here. Fitzhugh Lee, the governor of Virginia, Charles T. O'Farrell, right there. And they're kind of over there by where Jeff Davis was buried, because I saw Fitzhugh Lee over there. So, that being said, we'll just walk over back to the vehicle. And drive out and wrap up the vlog. I'm really glad you guys are joining me on this adventure through Hollywood Cemetery. Halfway right here. You want to really get some cardio and run the whole uh, grounds. <laughs> you don't really get them heart rate up. All right, we're kind of over here by Jeff Davis' site again, but I wanted to come back, come back by here and just show you guys Fitzhugh Lee. If I haven't already kind of glimpsed at it earlier in the video, it. Here's another look at it. Let's zoom in. Yeah, Fitzhugh Lee of Virginia. 1886 to 1890 he served. And I think it was from, his life was from 1835 to 1905 I wanna say. Faithful unto death is what it says. All right, we're going to see if we can find this other governor, Charles O'Farrell. Says it's right on the corner. He's number five on this map. Number five on the map, Inner Circle, Inner Avenue North. I think that's where I'm at. Let's see. On the corner of Inner, Inner Avenue North and Main Avenue. Let's see, I can kind of glance around over here somewhere. Uh, 
hold on for a second. Here we go. Charles O'Farrell, right here. I know I was right by it. I just had to walk down a few more steps. October 21st, 1840 to September 22nd, 1905. Governor of Virginia from 18... 34, I want to say. 1834. See, he's on the map. 1894 to 1898. That's when he served. So, there you have it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start riding up to the front and we'll just wrap up the vlog. I like these little tall monuments they got these little cemeteries here. Chinese person's cemetery right here. Grave marker. All right then. All right, I think I'm on the main road back out to the entrance. So yeah, this is a huge cemetery, a lot of history, obviously. So. If you're ever in the area, Richmond, Virginia area, this is a definitely a point of interest to stop at, and I recommend it. You know, they're open all year round. Uh, summer hours, eight to six, and winter hours, eight to five p.m. daily. So, yeah, I would really recommend it when you, when you ever visit Virginia. Hollywood Cemetery. Lots of hills. Great place if you want a challenge in your walking or your cardio as well. So with that being said, this is Big Mark Adventure signing off and we'll see you on the next adventure. Take care guys.